Greetings, Earthlings. This last story is the scariest, and it happened to me just a few years ago. This is the story of my first encounter with the entity known as Evil Ringo. During the plague, my parents moved up north to a place out in the country with a lot of land. It was one part of the property that everyone always avoided, the Septic Lagoon. I mean, it made sense that this smelly place was shunned in favors of pastures that weren't pasteurizing. The distance from the house and the dense vegetation also made it really dark, but one October, I discovered just how terrifying it could really be. So my buddy Zach Sparrow and a couple other friends had come over for a Halloween party. We had a hayride, we made s'mores, we had some sword fights, and then, after dark, we decided to play Manhunt. Now if you haven't played it, Manhunt is like Infection from Halo Reach, except the zombies get flashlights and the survivors get nothing. Our first hunter was Ryoko, from my Destiny 2 video. As the hunted ran to find hiding places, a cloud rolled over the gibbous moon. Zack followed me since he figured I would know some good hiding spots. And boy did I pick a spot. We crouched in the bushes on the edge of the septic lagoon. I could barely see the light from the house, and the night was quiet. Now, if you haven't lived out in the woods, you might not know that normally the woods are full of sounds at night, but as we crouched and waited, the night was utterly still. Suddenly I heard Zack say something. What was that? I whispered breathlessly, putting a hand in my ear. I could barely make out his silhouette as he shrugged wordlessly. Then I heard it again. It was the right pitch for his voice, but it sounded almost robotic. Did you just say Mambo number 9? I asked. His eyes went wide. Behind him, a figure loomed silently, without disturbing the brush. Just as the moon peeked from the clouds, the voice came from the thing. Number 9? I realized it wasn't speaking. His mouth didn't move. It was Ringo Starr from the Beatles, but his eyes were blood red and his skin was unnaturally pale. I might race for an explanation. There's no smell of a skinwalker, uh, just the skeptic lagoon. A doppelganger wouldn't have the red eyes, nor would a Roman bandit. That's when I realized that Revolution 9 off the Beatles' White Album was playing quietly from the creature. Its gaze fell on Zack, and it finally spoke. Who's your favorite Beatle? It sounded like a Morshu voice mix, you know, as if someone had taken clips of Ringo Starr talking and painstakingly stitched together the sounds to make these four words. Zack looked at it, then looked at me and nodded. I knew he was a massive Beatles fan. If anyone knew what to say, he would. The best Beatle of all time, Evil Ringo. The entity's face changed to a smile. It didn't smile. It looked like a projector train changed slides from one where it wasn't smiling to one where it was. It turned to me, moving more like a swarm of insects than a human. And who is your favorite Beatle? I looked at Zack. He nodded. The best drummer, Evil Ringo. Number not The song cut off mid-phrase, and Evil Ringo vanished. The sounds of the night returned. Suddenly we went into a panic and started to run. I couldn't stop, all I could think of was getting out of there. We made such a racket sprinting for our lives through all the brush that we were caught soon enough. Well, by Ryoko and the gang, not Evil Ringo. Uh, we were too shaking to tell them what we saw. From the extensive research I've conducted over the past few years, let me give you some tips to survive an encounter with Evil Ringo. Evil Ringo, sometimes called Rongo Moon, is always preceded by the playing of Revolution 9. If he asks your favorite beetle, or who's the best beetle, or who's the best drummer, do not say George Harrison, never say Paul McCartney, and under no circumstances should you say the name John Lennon in the presence of Evil Ringo. There have been cases of people surviving after saying Ringo Starr, but they all paid a price. The safest answer is Evil Ringo. So, if you're ever walking alone at night and hear Revolution 9, remember that Evil Ringo is your favorite beetle. He must be your favorite beetle. Your life depends on it. Magister Dixit. <laughs>